sweet influences of the Holy Spirit on your life's emphasis. Your life's emphasis. Your life's emphasis. What does it mean to emphasize? Everybody has an emphasis. Your life is emphasized on something. Some people emphasize on getting a beloved. Do you know people who emphasize on getting a beloved? You know some. Not you, but somebody you know. They emphasize on it. I need to be in a relationship. I need to have a child. That's my life's emphasis. I need to marry. My life's emphasis, I need to prosper. No, some people's whole life is prosperity. I'm doing my degree, I'm doing my master's, I'm moving to Canada, and I'm going to study. What do people study in Canada? I don't know. I hear people saying they're going to Canada for master's. My emphasis is what? My, 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 my relationship. I knew people, when you say you are going to camp, it means the girl is going to cook. Jollof on Tuesday, soup on Wednesday, kinky on Thursday, banku on Friday. These are not stories of the girl with kula and she bring a chest of different things. But she's cooking for her, her, her man. Her man. And she's cooking. And the emphasis is so much on the relationship. My beloved and I. My beloved and I. My husband and I. My dear wife and I. There's so much strong emphasis on that. My generation of pastors has a strong emphasis on prosperity and on show and on programs and conferences. My generation of pastors. Strong. Most people preach about money and prosperity. Marriage. Emphasize. They emphasize on it. One day, I went to preach at a conference and I preached about the title of my sermon was Read Your Bible Pray Every Day International Conference Then the next day was another person, a prophet I went to preach A prophet with asthma Do you know the asthmatic prophets? And today God says <clears throat> And if you don't know, and God is moving, and I see a move on the left, and God is going to transform your life, and within 48 hours, this has asthma. He's struggling to breathe. Asthma prophets. And God said, Oh, do the asthma for me. And God said, God is moving. God is transforming. And even though you came here today with nothing, God is giving you something bigger, something more. If you believe it, lift your hand, scream, shout, and give God praise. Emphasizing. Oh, I'm wrong. What are the prophecies that we hear today? Miracle babies. Miracle babies. I'm standing in a San Gregoire. I'm walking on the streets. And I'm being taken, I'm being taken on a road. And the Lord is showing me your hometown. And the Lord is showing me certain things that have happened since you were a child. And your mother is a Christian but your father does not really believe in God and the Lord is showing me that it's your father's refusal to serve him that has closed your womb but the Lord says because you've come to the house of God today somebody give God praise you are walking you are walking in the anointing of Hannah and as you seek the Lord with prayers which cannot be uttered I see your boom is being open. And I 
I see the release of God. And even though Penane has made fun of you, and even though she said you couldn't do it, and even though she said you couldn't have it, I see the power of God opening up your world. Receive in the name of Jesus. Where you are to move. You know, they, they, they say tea, they after they tea, they go into some very nice English. You know, I'm a prophet of God. A prophet, a prophet, a prophet, a prophet, a prophet is not always a determinant. He downloads the already ordained plan from God. And that's what I'm here to do, to download. You see, I mean, can be Jesus, Jesus was surrounded by many disciples. Okay. But when he needed a word, That's right. James couldn't get it. And John, until, until Adiana, Jesus came out. Then suddenly, the spirit fell on Peter. And Jesus says, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. There's a lot of us here. But there's only one prophet of God. And the revelation has fallen on me. And the Lord is saying today that things are changing. And I'm becoming asthmatic. And God is saying. Look. I go see Saint. Now listen. Listen. You see, all of you have this image of that's what a prophet is. Because of the word emphasis. So when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you emphasize certain. You see, we all believe in certain things. I believe that God opens the womb of people. The, the, womb, the, the fruit of the womb is his reward. I believe that children are like an arrow in the quiver of a strong man. I believe in all those things. I believe that prophecy can reveal things. I believe that prophecy can even reveal personal things about you. But that's not the emphasis of, 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 my, of my ministry, of what God has called us to do. That's not the main thing that I'm preaching. And you see that a spirit makes you emphasize something. But some of you are here, the most important, you think that marriage is like a hundred meter dash. You see that rope at the end. You want to breast, that's marriage. You run your whole life, and you just breast marriage, that fall. That's it. And your whole life is emphasized on that. If you take this pastor according to call to come forth, I say God has called you many times, but he was emphasizing on his career, emphasizing his whole life was and the main was the main thing you are doing with your life. It shows the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. The main thing you are doing is trying to get your two one. The main thing you are doing is trying to get your first class. The main thing is to get national service, to get masters, to get an internship, to work at the bank. The main thing you are doing is ACCA. Everything else comes second. That's the emphasis of your life. And you see pastors preaching as if as if we can pay for salvation. As if we can withdraw money from the ATM and pay for salvation. As if Jesus Christ came down and nailed himself to a cross to give us a few dollars. Yes. And you get that feeling from pastors who are over, over in our age group. The biggest programs that we can organize in Legon are prophetic nights of people. And it's like the church has become a money-hungry, spirit-devoid church. And you see first love pastors and overseers emphasizing on other things. Yes, in this church. You see people emphasize. Your main emphasis as an elder. The main thing that you are doing. It shows the spirit that you have. The main thing that you are doing. Main, you see. And, and, and before you realize, that's what defines prophet, the prophetic. A prophet. Look, even when in 1 Corinthians 14, uh, Paul was teaching on prophecy. He said... So that if the unlearned or the unbeliever come, the secrets of his heart will be made manifest. Why? Why? So that he will fall on his face and say, Of a truth, God is in you. Yes, it's for, it's all for salvation. Say, You, your name is Tintin. You are 26 years old. 
you are from Kumasi. Your mother's name is Ajua. Your father's name is Kwame. You say, hey, how did you know? Say, because God showed it to me. Because the scripture says, before you were born, I knew you. And I already ordained. I have a plan for you when you were in your mother's womb. So God is just revealing to me what he already knows about you. The scripture says that the hairs on your head are known by God. And God has only one wish for you. It's not that you prosper. This is the message of a prophet. That's using the gift of a prophet properly. Yes. But the main thing you are doing is, is, is preaching something else. You see, look at you. You're all Legon first lovers. You're all Christians. Before you criticize a prophet, what about you? The last thing on your mind is the work of God and so on. But when the Holy Spirit comes on you, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come on you and you will begin to emphasize your weakness and it will be the main. Pastor Frank, is that your emphasis in ministry or is your emphasis prayer? What's, what's the main thing you are doing? What's the main thing that you are doing? The main thing I'm doing is so winning, church planting, making disciples. Prayer is less than that. I'm telling you, it's lower, it's good. It's very important, but it's lower. The main thing, the main thing that you should be doing is planting, soul winning, crusades, outreaches, winning souls, preaching the gospel, preaching a good message, knocking on doors. That's the emphasis of somebody who has the Holy Spirit. Oh, 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 please, please. If you say you have the Holy Spirit, that should be your emphasis. I don't care if you're a doctor, your emphasis should be soul winning. Anybody who has the Holy Spirit, that is the main thing that he's talking about. That's the main thing. That Look at you. You meet new people every day. The last is, it's like the, you don't even think about it. Actually, that you should meet people in the first thing in your heart is, are you saved? When the Holy Spirit fell on Peter, the next thing, he was out there preaching. People said, what shall we do to be saved? That's the first thing you say. You don't be talking about money. God is about to prosper. God is about to come up with this. And that's why you see all these wonderful people, they all have small, small, small churches. And the fruit is small, it's nothing blown away with the wind because the emphasis has changed. I thank God for our prophets continuously maintaining the thing of making disciples, winning souls. Oh, yes, when the spirit leaves, that's what happens. I remember Pastor Frank, I remember Pastor Frank, Pastor Frank has preached messages that turned my heart. I remember Pastor Frank preaching at uh, uh, Agoba preached about the kingdom of God. He said, if you have a passport, I'll never forget. I preached that same sermon. I learned it from him. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. So you may have access to the kingdom of the United Kingdom. You may have access to the kingdom of Canada. You may have a passport that says you have access to the kingdom of Ghana. But when the, when the role is called up yonder, will you have a passport to the kingdom of heaven? I remember him standing there. That was, that's the emphasis. Remember that. The emphasis. That's the main thing that shouldn't change. So many. It shouldn't change. It shouldn't change. I told Pastor Juma, have you stopped planting churches? You've had enough. You've had enough. The Wisconsin is saved. Hatcho is saved. You finished. I told him, move again. You got comfortable with some few lights and some pop-up stands behind you. You are excited. I told him, move again. Move again. You, yesterday, he told me I'm a market preacher. I'm a market preacher. Pastor Paul told me, I stand, I stand in my dinner and I turn on the music and Cherry starts singing. And I'm standing there, people gather around, and then I start to preach. I've not gone above it. No, he has, he has almost, almost 600 members. He's not above it. No, he said it's still so winning. Next week I'll be on. I was like, can you do this? I can do all. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I can do all. I'll be there. Some of the days I only do two. Got a good word. Souls, soul, salvation. That's my best message. That's my best message. Just give me the verse. Give me, give me, give me five minutes. Give me ten minutes. Let me talk to the people about Jesus Christ. That's the emphasis. That's how this church started. First love church, carnivals and crusades. And that was our main thing that we are doing. It's so winning. It must not change. Planting church is so winning. Planting church is so winning. Making disciples. Teaching them. Teaching them. Teaching them. What their money. So what I was saying is that you can preach about other things. But the emphasis. You shall receive power. And you will emphasize on witnessing. When the spirit comes on you, emphasize. How of you have never even led one soul to God. You don't have, you are devoid of the spirit. You are devoid of the spirit. I say, pastors my age. I hope, I hope, I hope Pastor Kobe will go is emphasizing on soul winning. Or he has moved into convention style messages. Convention style messages. <laughs> Powerful anecdotes and revelations. Please. Please. 
This is what God has called us to. Back to the cross. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ died for your sins. Jesus Christ died for your sins. That's the emphasis. That's the emphasis. That's why I told Tinti, you're a pastor. You can't keep emphasis. Where were you working? Um, University of Ghana. You know, which department? Provost Office, Cali. Provost Office. That's what you had. Your main thing in life is working at the Provost Office. The Holy Spirit is, 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 is quenched. It's quenched in your life. There's a mission field waiting for you. That's the emphasis of your life. It shows that there's something on you. Peter, there were no witnesses. You should read Acts chapter 1. They say that would we restore the kingdom at this time? They were politicians. They were doing political science. Then the spirit fell. Mm-hmm. You used to chase boys. Now the spirit has fallen. Mm. Your main thing was what the clothes you wear. Now the spirit has fallen. The main thing was how many girls you have. Now the spirit has come. The main thing was your shoes. Do you know I used to have 34 shoes? Different colors, 34 sneakers. None of them was less than $100. Proper to wear from Jordans to Nikes to, to uh, Adidas to... You can, you can mention I had all colors. I used to dress now, I don't care. I don't care what I do. That's all these people come. That's no longer an emphasis. Yeah. What people think and how impressed people are with you or what car I drive. That's the least of my worries. What car I drive, please. Somebody offered to buy me a brand new car this week. Do you need a car? No, I don't need a car. I'm okay. That's not my emphasis. I don't want to impress anybody. My emphasis, I'm invited to conferences and programs. I don't go for these things. It's not my emphasis. There's, there's some programs. When I preach, when I preach to us, I realize that there's no aim here. I'm not going again. That's, the emphasis is wrong. The emphasis of the church is going somewhere else. Our emphasis must be sowing. Our emphasis must be winning souls and starting churches. Rashida, your life's emphasis was, I know I'll marry, I know I have a job, I know I'll do, but my emphasis is I must win souls. That's the sign of the Holy Spirit. You become a witness. How can your emphasis be your degree? There are other people coming home. And you are the ones they'll hear from. So if you change your emphasis, then the whole ministry is going to change. You know, I had I had a I had a testimony from Pastor David Yalu through Pastor Iceberg. And he told me first Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. He was listening to me preach and I shared this verse. This verse. First Timothy 3. They that have used the office of a deacon well purchase to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. He said, when I shared this verse, he said that he, he cannot work in the secular world in his life. Oh, I'm wrong. What do you say? What do you say? He told me that he had you sharing this verse that those that use the office of a deacon well purchase to themselves a good degree. So he said that he realized that he can't do anything with his life. He told his father that immediately, immediately after housemanship, he's going to come full time. And so I said, okay, that's what, if that's what he's decided. What if I change my emphasis? Because this is what prophet has been preaching to us. This, this, this verse is one of his verses. Because you are, you are using, you have another degree. Well, you are, you are studying for what? You are studying for what? What are you, what are you studying for? Law. 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 Business and business and accounting. Accounting. Sociology. 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 So they are fighting to purchase to themselves a degree in sociology. But those who even though I'm in school, I take my pulpit, my offering back, and I stand in front of the church and I open my Bible and I begin to preach a good word. By the time I finish school, yes, I'll have a degree in business admin, but I've also purchased to myself a, 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 a good degree, a good qualification. Those, those who spend their time in school using the office of a deacon well, they purchase to themselves. That's a powerful verse. They purchase to themselves a good degree, a great boldness. Mm. By the time you come out of school, you'll be a bold woman of God. Be a bold man of God. You purchase, Pastor Tintin, thank God for your degree. But while you were in school, I'm very happy that you had a congregation. I'm very happy that the Holy Spirit came on you and made you an overseer of the flock. I'm happy because by the time you finished school, you had a degree in what? I had a degree in psychology. Psychology. But he also has purchased to himself. He's Pastor Tintin. He's Pastor Tintin. That's the emphasis of his life. That's a good degree. Yeah. That's a good degree. That's a good degree. What about you? Your whole life is your master's. How can it be? 
Your life is what? You, what? You want to work where? Radio Gold. That's your whole life. Do you, you want to be a businessman? Whole life. Come on. You're in school, you never do anything. You know, there's a brother over there. God is really going to use you. Where is this? I pray for you. There's a guy who was sitting on this side. Yes, you. You. You in the green t shirt. Yes. God is going to use you. I don't want to say you've been in church for two years, right? Yeah. God is going to use you. God doesn't want you to finish your degree without purchasing a better degree. He doesn't want you to. He doesn't want you to. That's why he brought you to this camp. He doesn't want you to waste your time only searching for earthly degrees. Just die and see. Die and see. But thank God I graduated with the first class in law. <laughs> but when I was being called to the bar, I had already got a higher calling. By the time they were calling me a barrister, I was already called a pastor. And the Holy Spirit had already fallen on me. Take it to yourselves. And the flock over the which the Holy Spirit makes you an overseer. It doesn't make lawyers. your emphasis your emphasis if you are spiritual and if you are a man of prayer he always emphasizes I don't want this this is what I want I don't want this I don't want this what I want Acts 13 verse 1 Acts 13 verse 1 Acts 13 verse 1 there are certain prophets and teachers in those days Acts 13 verse 1 prophets and teachers prophets and teachers but a new calling was coming and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucius of Cyrene and Manai which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul next verse while they ministered to the Lord, the whole church was praying. And God said, pick out Paul and Barnabas. Enough of this prophecy and teaching. It's time for them to go out there and do something for me. Separate them for the work I've called them to. Time to enter into the apostolic. Separate them to me. If you spend time with the Spirit, you always say, I've, I've got some work. Move this way. I've got some. That's what you said. Stop, stop that. Leave the church for somebody. Move on. Start another church. He has nine members somewhere. That's the way forward. Yesterday, you started a church. How many? About 20. 20 people, new church. Separate unto me, Reverend Iceberg, for the work I've called him to. Separate from the rest. Let's move on. Verse, two, verse 3. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. Verse 4. And they being sent forth by the Holy Spirit, Seleucia and Cyprus. Everybody, before you finish school, there's a Seleucia and there's a Cyprus. But the Holy Spirit wants to send you to. There's a hostel he wants you to start a church in. I'm telling you, there's a, there's a number. Jennifer, there are churches in your stomach. It's not just one Evandi church. By now, you should be telling me you're on your third church. Seleucus and Cyprus. Where's your Seleucus? Where's your Cyprus? See, the God is separating you from us for the work he has called you to. He has a big church for you in Uganda. That's what he wants for you. Daniel Amafa, that's what he wants for you. He's separating you for what he's called you to. He's sending you to Seleucia. Leave these other guys, they should stay in Jerusalem. But separate for me, Daniel, for the work whereunto I have called him. He's called you for it. Separate him. What a great thing it is to serve God. Great. The emphasis of your ministry, the emphasis of your life emphasis of your mind and your days. My emphasis is the source of Accra. When I see the map of Accra, I feel you can ask those who are around you. We can cover them. That's what I always We can do it. We can cover the city with churches. We can do it. We can if we concentrate and we keep at it. We keep at it. Pastor. We don't need to be rich. Oh. We don't need prosperous. We don't need a salary increase. We don't need God to give you anything. You don't need a car. You don't need anything. If we can just be content and just continue with what God has called us to do. I, that's what I don't go for. That's what, you will not see my face on but I don't easily go for a program. You know, it takes a lot for me to go. I will not go. I have international meetings. I've been this year alone. I've been invited to Colombia. I've been invited to Korea. I've been invited to the United Kingdom. I've been invited to America. I've been invited to a lot of places. Oh no, it's, that's not my emphasis. My emphasis are the souls of Medina and the souls of Hacho and the souls in Dansuma. That's my emphasis. So winning. It's not about that. Don't call me. Whenever I go and preach somewhere, then they invite me. Um, he's here to urge us on about so the all important act of soul winning with the evangelistic heart. Let's welcome Reverend Joshua. Like he 
is he has the evangelistic heart. And you have which heart? Which heart do you have? Which heart do you have? Which heart do you have? I tell you, how do you know God is not in a church? The people don't hear the call of God. Pastor Joshua, how do you know? When Peter was confused and he was walking on the sea, he couldn't see if it was Jesus or not. How did he identify? He said, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come. In other words, I know that if it's you who is here, the word I'll be hearing is, come. Come and work for me. The spirit and the bride, we say, come. Come. So if you are here, it shows that God is in the church. You can't rest. There's work. You can't rest here. It's difficult. It's difficult. That's why Jesus said, I'm Lord of the Sabbath. I'm Lord of the Sabbath. The Sunday is for me, for my work. Put aside the school and put aside the work on Sunday. It is for me. I am Lord of the Sabbath. And those of you who say that on the seventh day he rested. Have you heard that one? Yeah. And that we are working hard on Sunday. Why are we resting? Because in the New Testament, your definition of rest is different. Jesus said, I'm meek and lowly. Take my yoke. My yoke, that's my work. And learn of me. You find what? Rest. Our rest is his work. We rest from our labors and take on his work. Take my yoke, you'll find rest. Take my yoke, you'll find rest. I'm Lord of the Sabbath. Lord of the Sabbath. My emphasis. I can. Your emphasis in life. The main thing, Frank, you should be known as a soul. Like, that's the main. When they invite you to preach, say, the man with the evangelistic heart, we know he's here to urge us on to whatever. We commend his soul winning and his mission efforts. Reverend, this is how they talk about people. We commend his soul winning and his mission. What efforts do you have? What are your efforts? What other efforts are we supposed to have as a church? How can there be the same teaching in game pie and in the church? Why do, you, why do you come to church so hungry for a blessing? Why you, most of you, the only thing you do in prophetic encounters is to say, I receive it and amen. That's all you do. I receive, I receive it. When are you going to give to somebody? When are you going to give? Can you sing this out time? When are you going to do something for somebody else? When is, when is it your turn to stop? I receive. God is changing my life. God is transforming my life. I receive it in Jesus' name. I'm drinking the communion. When will you take that blood of Jesus and share it outside? Can you or you can't? Quick, 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 quick. It's our time to believe. It's our time. It's our time to love and give. There was a time we received. There was a time we received. It's time for us to give. Now it's time for us to give. This is a prophetic word for you. It's time for you to give. There's a time you were preached to. It's now time for you to preach. Let's reach out and touch our world. Can you hear the Spirit? Can you hear the Spirit calling? Can you hear the Spirit? Can you hear Time when we were learners. It was a time when we were learners. Now it's time for us to teach. Now it's time for us to teach. There was a time we used to follow there things. Follow me to church. To I'm taking you to church. Now it's time for us now to lead. It's time, it's time for you to take four people and yeah. you lead them. It's our time. It's our time. The time we used to be fed. Now it's time for us to feed. It's our world. It's our nation. This is our time. This is our moment. This is when we are pastors. In our 20s and our 30s, this is our time. It's our time to believe that things are. In 10 years, it's another person's time to believe that to call out is important, that missions are important. This is our time. It's our time to emphasize. This is it. Come, you think later on in life when I don't know, say, Ebenezer, this is your time. If you are going to be a pastor, this is your time. If you are going to work for God or care about God, this is your time. Pastor, this way we are pastors. We'll be tired soon. We'll be old soon. If you can hear the Spirit calling, this is our time. Daniel, this is your time. This is your moment. After this, you'll be an old man. And other young people will come and take over. So, this is our time to cover the city. Pastor Isberg, it's our time to concentrate. It's our time to concentrate. The potassium at 35, you'll be an uncle. 
It should be too late. It should be it's just now. Just now. They say there will be new elders just now. Daniela Astinson, he thought you'd be there forever. As Frank, he was a main elder on campus. This Legon doesn't want to hear from him. The scripture says that the, the, the ground where he was nowhere did not. Legon doesn't want to hear from Frank. When it was his time, he did his best. He had a church in Peter, he had a church in Kongo. He started a church in different world. Pastor Nako just time he did his best. He started a church in, in Legon, he split the church. One in Legon, one in Kongo, one here, one in Volta. When it was their time, they did their best. We did our best. We finished. Pastor, we had a church in Wisconsin. We had a church in Pentagon. We did our best. Now they don't want you in Wisconsin anymore. The other students who are elders, you're not wanted anymore. They're not wanted. You now move on to other things. If you're going to do something in Legon, Daniela, you watch it like a film. You see that you're out of the school and you are irrelevant. They don't even want to. Then. If there's a word in your heart, this is not tomorrow, not next week. Oh. Can you hear the spirit calling? Can you hear the spirit calling? Can you hear him saying something? Can you hear? Do you have any form of insignificance to what God is saying? If you really have the Holy Spirit, stop telling me you speak in tongues and tell me about your soul winning and what you are going to do for God and the visions of God in the night and when you are praying, what you are praying for and how you are struggling and fighting for God to bless you and help you to save him. Stop telling me that you want a job. God should move and give you a beloved. Then if you really have problems, with where's your emphasis? Where's your emphasis? Where's your emphasis? Oh, I love this message. I love this message. My Eva, I always tell the pastors, we are doing church planting. Don't deviate. We are doing church planting. Don't deviate. We are doing church. We are planting churches. We are training leaders. Pastor, I don't run from La Paz to Pentecost. This is your time. Start multiple churches, not next week. If you have a prayer to pray, this is the time to pray. If you have fasting to fast, this is the fast. To, this is the time to fast. If you have a book to study, can you hear the Spirit calling? Can you hear the Spirit calling? Can you hear the Spirit calling? It's our time. It's our time. At this camp, I just pray you can hear the Spirit calling. I just pray, I'm not, I'm not just talking and shouting. I pray that you can feel. beyond here. Cyprus and Seleucia. Cyprus and Seleucia. It's calling you to places you haven't yet seen. This is your time. This is your moment. This is your time. If you are going to come to serve God full time, this is the time to go all out. If you are going to be a missionary, it's now. Another batch is coming behind you. You'll be old just now. You'll be old. Can you hear the spirit? anything Lord you can use me
on, lift your hands and sing it if you can use anything. You can use anything, Lord. You can use me. You can use anything, Lord. You can use me. Take my hand, Lord, and my feet. Touch my heart, Lord, speak to me.
This next part is prophetic. 